what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to create the fold paper effect in pixela so let's get to it i want to just start by giving you guys a huge image size so you can see very well this is not really necessary i really need a text so first we go to grid so if you don't know how to use the grid tool check the video at the top right of your screen or check the description i have a video on how to use the grid tool so I'm going to use some grid lines I'll delete some of them and we want to make a good square with these lines something like this will do okay now I'm gonna for still get a shape insert a square like this reduce the opacity of the square to something like that and I go to my max tool okay so it's the max tool right here all right so enable it and we'll be masking out not in okay we'll mask out so I want to delete one of the control points the one that is highlighted then I'll click here this action button here and delete it so touch on anyone so before i start moving my point to the right or to their positions i'm going to click this button here it's going to guide my grid lines going to activate my grid lines to guide me when i'm moving my points so click on it and now you can start moving your points you can see how the line is guiding me to easily fit my points where i want to fit them it's that easy all right so that's it so now let's start controlling our handles. I'm going to control our handles like that. Okay. All right, so we have something cancel please so we have something like this that's good enough that's good enough this one's just straight line straight to well well that's good enough so you click on okay you go to your opacity activate it to 100 now let's go to color activate so we're going to go to gradient and the gradient we're going to use here is this one so i'm going to open it up so you can see this is the manipulation of the gradient white here and we have dark here okay if you don't know how to manipulate colors in pixela please check the link check my description you see a video on how to manipulate colors or check the video at the top right of your screen showing up right now all right cool so i'm going to use this for this shape so we'll repeat this process we'll take another shape need another square so enlarge it make it big something like that and then insert it reduce the opacity as well go to mask activate out delete one point and then let's start moving our points so this tool is really this button here is tool is really helping us to move faster guide us a lot all right now control our handles we need you here we need you here need this one here for that maybe use this hand here okay now on the straight line and this one here now we're going to try to form a straight line here as well all right so we have it so now let's insert let's go back to mass tool a little bit do we have a perfect line all right we have it all right so let's insert it go to opacity give it all the opacity 
all right okay i'm send this to the back all right then i want to go to color and give it its own gradient which will be this one yeah, so we have to give it this gradient this gradient we're going to give it to it let me see the other cool gradients that can work no this is the gradient we're going to be using this one right here and to use this gradient if you want to see the color this is the color dark here and we have white here okay that's it so that's what we're going to be using all right so next thing is we're going to merge these two shapes need to be merged all right so we have our effect in play so we can place it down here go to stroke you can turn off your grid now it's not necessary go to stroke activate stroke and go to shadow put it on blur it to about 21 so this is the shadow color we're using so take a dark color and you know make it transparent like this so that's the color we're going to be using and then along the x axis make it to be about 28 perfect so guys that's all for this tutorial we have our effect done now go to your background and you know change colors and see how the fold paper effect looks like on different colors thanks for watching see you in the next video peace